It's a new morning. And we got Grizzly's cage all scrubbed out yesterday and it's been air drying. So we're gonna, we're gonna bring that in and I'm gonna spray it down with some kennel care, which is what we used when I was a vet tech. And then I'm also gonna show you how to make your own dog food gravy to put on top of your dog food. It's, it's really nutritious. Most of the produce I bought was organic. The chicken wasn't organic, unfortunately, but someday we'll raise our own. Yeah, just a homemade dog food topper that you can put on top of your dog food to give your animals a little extra incentive to eat packed full with nutrition. So we'll take you along for that. Will you help mom break the chicken down for the dogs? Uh, yeah. So we cook the chicken for one hour in the Instant Pot. I think we're keeping all the cartilage. We're gonna keep the, They're too big gonna keep the skin on. And basically the dogs are gonna get everything except for the bones. Okay, and now we're just chopping up some sweet potatoes. We're gonna cook these on high pressure in the Instant Pot for 12 minutes. JL, what's your job? What are you looking for in there? Uh, a bone. A what? A bone. A bone. Are you taking the bones out? Yeah. I take the bone. Did you find one? Good job. That is a bone. Yeah, it is a bone. I found a bone, Dad. Good. Good job. She sure did. Yeah, a bone. That's called quality control, huh, J.O.? Yeah. We already picked through it once. The little person's picking through it. <laughs> and I get another bone. You're a great helper. And then I've got this organic mix of vegetables from Costco. It's got peas, carrots, corn, and green beans. And I'm just gonna put it right in the leftover broth in the Instant Pot and just cook it on high for one minute. To make this go further, we could add oatmeal or rice. Charlotte, sure, you get the rice and the oatmeal. Okay, so at this point, you could be done with your gravy and you could throw it in some Ziploc bags and stick it in the, in the freezer and thaw it out as you need it. Um, I decided to go ahead and throw some rice in the Instant Pot. So I've got about three cups of white rice. You could use brown rice. You could also use oatmeal. I'm gonna mix it in with the gravy. And then I'm gonna add in the remaining chicken broth that came off of the chicken just so we can use it all up and kind of extend it. I went ahead and did a cost analysis on this. The chicken cost $4.25. The rice cost about a buck. The vegetables cost $4. The sweet potatoes cost a buck 50. So this whole batch comes out to $10.75. $10.75 worth of dog food topper. And it's kind of crazy. I was spending $40 per big dog per month on the canned food to top off their dry food. So that's a $30 savings just doing it from home. Another perk is that it's way healthier than canned dog food. Um, the ingredients are, are organic and we know that they're getting well fed. So there's a lot of perks to doing this from home, but I'm going to mix this all together. It's kind of a different color. We're trying this new, this Victor brand. It's supposed to be a premium dog food. I wanna do, I wanna do, I wanna try. Hold well, on, we're gonna, now we're gonna get our, our gravy topper. Hey, I wanna try that. We're gonna get some gravy for this, for Annie. I think she approves. Oh, I am. 
And that's the dog food gravy.